Hello, I'm Ron Wooden and I'm going to talk to you about uh, one of our courses working in safety advisory groups. Uh, if I start with a question, do you work with a safety advisory group or indeed have you been an event organiser who may have had to go and uh, meet with a safety advisory group? If the answer to that is yes, or it could be in the future, then this is going to be a course that should be of interest to you. It's been running now for some years. Uh, obviously we update, we develop uh, as we go and in the light of new experience. Um, we run this on the back of a piece of guidance, uh, national guidance, which is the UK Good Practice Guide to Working in Safety Advisory Groups. Why do we have a course? Why do we have guidance? On uh, both of those questions, the answer is that we as EPC and indeed our partners, the Sports Ground Safety Authority, had been concerned about the lack of consistency within safety advisory groups. As a result, we firstly developed a course. It's now been running for about seven years. And we uh, try to ensure greater levels of consistency for those people who may work with or on a safety advisory group. Uh, on the back of that, and in the experience of those years, we've now developed a guidance document uh, which is seen as uh, the National Good Practice Guide. If you do come on the course, what we'll try and do is help you in terms of the role of the Safety Advisory Group, that of members, and we particularly spend our time uh, looking at case studies as to how lessons have been learnt, both uh, good and not so good, uh, from events in the past. So if you think this course may be relevant to you, come and see us at EPC, or we can come and deliver a course uh, remotely to your location. Thank you very much.